My name is Luke O'Sullivan and um, I'm 20 years old. I'm a bit about myself. I've um, obviously grown up on a cattle station when I was real young, always wanting to learn and follow in you know, the footstep of the family with the property, riding horses, cattle work, and just anything about land. And then I got year seven, I went to boarding school. And then pretty much during that time, I would come back to home, learn more and more about like the way the country responds to the cattle, the rain, and you know, just giving back pretty much. Had my accident in 2022, and then, yeah, been on a pretty big journey, but now back here, which, you know, I'm quite glad to be back here. My injury, I uh, rolled my car four to six times on a dirt road. Um, uh, I think on the other side of Mount Coolin. And then I spent a little while in ICU at Townsville Hospital. And then, um, then I got flown down to the Brisbane Spinal Unit at Princess Alexandra. And I spent probably 15 months in total there. The, I was supposed to get out within probably six-ish, seven months. But I had a water soil-based infection that had created a hole through my throat in the esophagus. So, uh, which must have been from the dirt road where I rolled it. And uh, yeah, so that, I think I was three months, I had to lay flat, couldn't eat or drink, and had four surgeries in the neck, and they had to take metal out because that's what it attached to. So then that delayed a big lot of um, the time, like added a lot more on. But with the rehab side of things, like it was real good at the spine unit, that physio, OT, so that got me back up. You know, I learnt like a few things, you know, in the, like with your hands, the cooking, just general getting back to a feeling of what it's like in a wheelchair. And then the physio helped with that, like transferring, strengthening, adapting to the wheelchair as well. But, and then after that, I um, found a physio place in Gold Coast called Making Strides and they've been a huge help as well. I go down there like uh, for a month, um, once or twice a year and just do an intensive, you know, muscle building, uh, posture, strengthening it all, learning even more new things I didn't think I could do, which has helped me get back into a normal, normalish life living on a property with an injury. One thing I love about agriculture and being on the land is really just the freedom and the serenity and the birds, the bees, the flies, like anything. And then also, I like my greatest, I don't know, feel I think for the land is really the grass growth or growing lacina and growing something that will you know, obviously help the cattle get fatter, you know, help their breeding rate, you know, go up. The, what I love about, you know, the ag industry is um, definitely the serenity the nature and the way of being on the land and also being able to like for me to be able to get out and muster or help improve pastures or moving cattle you know growing lacina down on the property or like anything like it's just yeah it's almost freedom for me and to be able to give back to the ag industry by helping like as I said before, the growing rate of the grass, respecting the land, respecting the cattle, and then watching them improve and then help grow, you know, the place that I live on is yeah, very meaningful. Um, what I really want to do in my career is obviously I've got a good passion for the drone mustering through sky kelpie and ability ag, they're helping a lot. But that just allows 
a lot more freedom of roaming the property because obviously my body doesn't uh, handle the heat really well so it allows me to still be out and being involved with all the mustering and that the way Sky Kelpie has set the drone up so that really like and I will get my licensing through them as well so that also will allow and open up doors for me to do contracting mustering with a drone or even surveys like it opens a big door but and also really just being still on the property being a part of it all and living until you know I retire on the land and um, I obviously my goal like eventually is it will take a while but expanding you know the property you know, looking for different things to help boost everything even like what we're doing now um, Lakina you know, that's going to boost the fattening for the cattle but really yeah just being still in the agriculture business and then also the drone yeah In my experience from being on the land so far in a wheelchair, I feel like the ag industry hasn't actually explored or expanded into that um, that uh, adaptive equipment or like, you know, accessible equipment, which it does get difficult doing, but Back to Work is a funding body that I've been working with. And like, I'm in the process of uh, trying to get a remote control system for the bulldozer and or like hydraulic races or even like cars or like something that can get me out and about but I'm in the process I don't know if I'll quite do it yet but I'm looking at trying to get a car like a wagon shape and really just stripping it out and making it as high as possible and then that allows me to also get out on the property, drive around, then I can get out wherever I want because I'll still be in my wheelchair. But I do, like there is stuff out there in the ag industry, but I also think it's quite, in my personal view, it's challenging to get access to that just because it gets difficult trying to improvise stuff or, you know, be able to get in that certain vehicle or you know where you want to do but yeah that's yeah what I've learnt uh, being in the ag industry or on the land you know with a wheelchair or anyone with like mental health issues or being you know a disability or something that's holding them back from being able to uh, do what they're actually can and capable instead of having a feeling that they can't, you know, be they they have to be held back because they're in some sort of state. But what I've found is, like, I always tell myself if I'm, if I think I can't do something. I'm like, I, like obviously, you know, nothing works. I've got no hands or legs, but I still got a brain. So I can't just take the easy, st uh, straight path to doing what I used to be able to do. I've just got to go around and do it a different way, and I can still get to the same. Um, same spot, you know, or what I wanted to achieve, and like everyone's always going to struggle with whatever injury they have, and I found like being able to just get out, be put like just be around someone that's you know real positive, and you're always going to be you know be comfortable around, or go out and just sit with cattle or like anything, especially when you're on the land, you can get out and you've got the freedom and you can just relax. So the people that have really helped me out from going, getting the transition from hospital to home on the land where um, Back to Work was one of the programs that they actually helped fund the buggy, fund the office where I can still do all the office work for the company. Uh, NISQ funding partner they really helped with the house modifications. They made the house accessible for me to be able to come home, which was a huge help. 
and also the sky kelpie and ability ag which i'm still is still all new but they're going to help with the drone and being you know get me back out in the paddock without you know any parts where like i'll get affected from the heat or you know so that's yeah a huge help from all those people another funding body that is a huge help to me getting back to work as well is job access very grateful for what they have done for me so the timeline of getting building you know funding and modifications or adaptive equipment um, does take a long time and by from what I experienced with the house it took probably four to five months and that was that gets to when you're about to leave hospital they're still trying to get the contracts or people are trying to get time to do it so then you actually leave the hospital and you've got to find another accommodation and still wait for your house to be done but I was lucky sort of lucky I um, got to stay in hospital a bit longer and then the house was all done so with that you really got to be on top of it but it does get done in time but you want to make sure you allow a lot more time before you like when you start doing the process but and also with the adaptive equipment for the desk the buggy and that the buggy took a little bit as well just because it was getting a bit tricky you know with the tight space making it so my knees wouldn't hit but making it as easy as possible that probably took yeah three four months as well or five months and then but the desk was pretty good that came pretty quick probably two months but yeah no nah, definitely with all the you know equipment and ordering stuff house mods definitely like in my point of view and experience again it takes a while So I've been lucky enough to get back into the footy side of things with Union. Like obviously I was a big, you know, fan and played a lot of it. It was quite hard at start, you know, not to be able to play and watching it and not being a part of it. But the in town, the local Mud Crabs team, I am like the like assistant coach helping and um, putting a few tips in or like, you know, helping the forwards. But they do, they're quite good. But um, like, it's actually quite nice being able to get back in the community. Like, I didn't realize how much of an impact that would have being able to get back in the community. Because I've, before that, I was just at home. I never got back in the community. I was distancing myself. So getting back there, it's just a bigger and better world, you know, healthier for your mindset. You feel included. So I find that like with people, don't distance yourself from the community you're in. Lean on them to you know, make you feel a part of it. Going, just supporting. You'd be surprised how many people welcome you and don't judge you for what you know, state you're in. They judge us for you, you know, who you are. The advice I would also have for parents or people that have been around a relative or a friend that's been in an accident don't like it's it's a hard you know game to play because the parents just want to be there for you do anything for you you know will sacrifice anything but at the same time it is quite difficult especially I don't know for someone in this you know injury you don't feel independent, you know, you feel bombarded, you feel crowded because it does take a couple of years to get used to it and all you want to do is just go probably like into like a dark room and just be away from everyone. So respect that boundary and read the room. If that person needs space, space was a big thing. 